Hi guys, it's your girl Rashida and I'm here with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making Bananas Foster. Like Bananas Foster is so good. It's delicious. It's actually pretty easy, which some people don't know. So I'm going to show you guys how to cook it today. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to need is a stick of butter, some brown sugar, some heavy cream, three or two bananas, um, some rum, and some pure vanilla extract. Those are the three different, the few different things that you need. So first thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to put my butter in the pan and let it melt. So we're going to leave that alone and just let that melt. If you want to help it out a little bit, you can, and you can just stir it around, turn the heat up a little bit and just let that stick of butter melt. And then if you want to make more for like a larger party of people, then add a couple of extra sticks, but it really all has to do with the amount of butter that you use. And you can figure out how much brown sugar and how much heavy cream and how much bananas you need for your bananas foster. So that's melting. So while that's melting, I'm gonna just peel my bananas in the meantime. So for me, I'm using ripe bananas right now. But if you don't have ripe bananas, you can use like any type of bananas. So don't say like, I want bananas foster, but I need to wait for my bananas to get ripe. No, you can use any type of bananas. Whatever's to your liking. So, and then, these bananas, you can really cut them any way you want. Um, I'm gonna kinda cut them on a bias, like so. Just like that. But some people, they'll cut it the long way. They'll make them smaller. There's really no wrong way to do it. It really just depends on your preference. So after you make it the first time, if you wanna try it a different way, or if you want to look a different way for decoration, you can do it that way as well, but it'll be good either way. So my butter's almost finished melting. Just gonna stir that around a little bit and help it out. And it also helps if you leave your butter out at room temperature for maybe like 15 minutes so that it's already at room temperature. So when you add it to the heat, it's not cold and trying to melt because it'll take even longer. Okay, so now you see that my butter is almost melted and it's actually melted now. So this is how you want the butter to look when it's melted. And I'm using unsalted butter, by the way. The butter that I'm using is unsalted. So now I'm gonna add my brown sugar. So I just add it in just like that. Just don't be scared, just add it in. And then you're gonna take your whisk, take your whisk and you're going to actually just whisk it all in together. And what you wanna do is just Get rid of any lumps, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to mix it up and get rid of any lumps that I see. So now you see how the sugar and the milk, is the um, butter, sorry, is kind of separating. So now here's the part where you wanna add your heavy cream. So the heavy cream as well, I will leave that out um, for like maybe like five, 10 minutes so it's not cold. So now I'm gonna add some heavy cream. So now I'm just gonna whisk the butter, the brown sugar, and the heavy cream together. So do you see what's happening? Do you see how everything is like coming together? You're gonna keep whisking, keep whisking, and make sure everything's really like coming together. Ooh, looks so good. So right now I'm basically making a caramel sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cream. Mix that all in together. Let that simmer. Right? So now I'm gonna add in a drop, literally like a drop or so, of pure vanilla extract. Right, just like that. And that's just gonna help put a little bit of vanilla flavor in. And now, all you have to do is add in your bananas. Look how simple that was. So, there's actually two variations of this recipe. You can either 
add rum or you can opt not to add rum. So me, I'm gonna add some rum because I love the combination with alcohol sometimes and dessert. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. So now that I've added my rum, the bananas are all in here and I'm just gonna let them simmer. I'm actually gonna grab a rubber spatula and I'm just going to like stir everything in. And I'm using a nonstick pan um, because it is a caramel sugar sauce. Um, depending on the pan that you're using, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to get it off when it's time to do those dishes. So I recommend using a nonstick pan, but if you don't have one, just use whatever you have. It'll be fine either way. So I want you guys to take a look at this. So right now you'll see that the bananas are all like coated. And I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit and they're like kind of like breaking down, which is why I like to use ripe bananas sometimes. But even if you use regular bananas, they'll all combine. And then the flavor of the banana actually gets into the sauce. And when you bite into the sauce, well, sorry, when you bite, when you eat the sauce, you'll taste the banana flavor in. It's really good. Okay. It's so good. So really just let it simmer for like five minutes. Or so. so this right here is gonna be your finished product. You're gonna see it's basically a caramel sauce, a vanilla caramel sauce, and um, it has bananas in it. And the bananas are really just almost translucent and they're really all, it's all have come together. Everything's come together, it's so good. So banana pasta, you can have it in a crepe. Um, I like to have it over ice cream. So for me, I have some ice cream right here. One of my favorite ice creams is one rum raisin ice cream. I love rum raisin ice cream. So I'm, you basically just take it and spoon it over your ice cream. But you can have it with vanilla ice cream. I think vanilla ice cream or rum raisin would be like the two ideal. But you can try other things as well. I'm gonna just take some of that delicious caramel sauce and drizzle that, that over the ice cream as well. And it's so good because it's like warm and cold together. So here you have it. This is how you make banana foster. I love this recipe. It's really, really simple. It's not too sweet. You can have it with ice cream. You can have it with a crepe. You can have it with pancakes, a muffin, whatever. So try it at home. And I want you guys to comment and I want you guys to tell me what you think about this recipe and tell me how you use it at home. What did you like about it? Because it's really, really fun and it's really simple. So, ooh, and this rum. It won't get you drunk, but it does add a nice kick. Enjoy.